Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the rain meter skin changing tool for Windows. Uh, so this is supposed to work with Windows 7 and up. Uh, it should work on Windows 11. We're going to try it out on Windows 10 here. So once you download it and install it, you'll have your uh, interface here, which will be running down here. So you can click on that to open it. Then this will show you the skins that you have installed. So this one's here by default, and I installed these three to try them out. So to use the skin, once you install it, You'll have some options here. Some will have more than others. So you can see this has a lot. You know, if I want to load the volume component, and I could turn it up or down. Some are interactive, some are not. And if I don't want it, I just unload it. And then, like this guy here, it has a dock. Which goes off to the side here. You know, I could open up my computer, that kind of thing. It's kind of big because I'm recording in a lower resolution. CPU and RAM settings as well in real time. If I don't want it, just unload it. And let's try out the clock here. So then when you drag it around, you can see the coordinates change. So you could type in your own or just you know drag it around unless you have uh, the dragging disabled here. And you could also change the position from here. Load order if you load more than one. Transparency if you want to have it kind of more in the background there. Uh, what you do over hover, so like for this clock, I'm not going to click on it to do anything necessarily. So if you click on hide, then it will go away. And if it's not hidden, you might want to use the uh, click through option because let's say you want to open up this uh, beach picture here. You can't do it because you click on it, nothing happens. But if you check that box, now I could click through it and open up that file right there. Then here's the draggable option, keep on screen, and so on. Like I said, once you're, if you don't want this particular component, just unload it just like that. So now let's say we wanted to get rid of a skin. What you need to do to that, you need to go to your user folder under uh, Documents, Rain Meter, and then Skins. Find the folder that matches. So let's say I want the sidebar gone. Delete the folder. Then you have to close Rain Meter and actually exit it here by right-clicking on it. Now we'll open it up again, down here, and you can see that's gone. So let's say we wanted to install a new skin. Uh, the skins are in this RM skin file extension, so it makes them easy to install. So if you find one that's not in that format, you're going to have to do something different to get it into the skins folder here. I think it might vary on what type of format it is. So there is a website here for skins. Let me go back a page here. And you could pick all different kinds here. Some are, you know, more useful where they give you tools. And the other ones like the Spider-Man will just give you some background theme and colors and all that other good stuff. So we're going to try this one here, minimal theme. So when you click on the download button, it'll be a zip file. We'll open it here. And let's drag this over to the desktop. So this is the minimal theme. And some will have you know, more than one component here. Some will have a bunch of components. You can pick which ones you want. We're going to do the skins and the layouts. So click on install. And then you can see it's active right there. And it just did all kinds of funky stuff. Like, you know, this one's kind of weird. Uh, memory and stuff. The date. But this looks kind of weird because, once again, low resolution. And you can see your drives here. And then you could go into it. Here it is simple. And like battery, this is not a laptop, so I could turn that off. And if I don't want the recycle bin, show that and date. And then you can just, like I said, just pick the uh, ones you want. And of course, you got to see which ones are running here time. Just like that. So, you know, once again, different skins will have different options. And then you could just do that. And then if you want to combine them too, you should be able to do that. So let's do the clock from here. So you could have the different skins and load different components of each one. So that's pretty much how it works. So I will put a link in the description to where you could download it. Then you could also find the uh, skins page on the same website. And then you could uh, try it out for yourself and customize your Windows desktop. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.